Yeah, now we're talking. The following contest is a two out of three falls match. Making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 246 pounds, Carlos Castro. Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. He is in perhaps the best shape of his career, and he will need that with the competition level this high. Mello is and his winning. opponent from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. I hate to parrot a catchphrase, but Mello really is money. Multiple title reigns and main events to his name already. And this guy is destined to continue that success in all of WWE. Time for Mello to make that money. It's on a cell, so we know there are no disqualifications or countouts. You can only walk out of that demonic structure a winner via pinfall or submission. Well, Hell in a Cell is one of the most brutal and dangerous matches in the history of WWE. Just look through the annals of history to see what havoc has been wrought in that steel cage enclosure. Well, they call it Hell in a Cell for a reason. It was easy, they'd call it Picnic in the Park or something. Well, your point is well taken, Byron. Victory must be won inside the ring, and anything not nailed to the ground can be used as a weapon. This is where the dark forces of evil are unleashed. Uh-oh, he could be looking for a submission here. Impressive display of power. I think he's got it locked. And he escapes the submission before things got more disastrous for him. What a qualify! What's it gonna take to keep this guy down? Corey, what advice would you give someone inside Hell in a Cell? Use the cell to your advantage. With the right strategy, you can turn this prison into your most effective weapon. He reverses it. Oh, that can rock you. Uh-oh. Dodged right off cue. this. He knows how to avoid contact. T-bone into a power slam. Delivering ah. the suplex. <laughs> On the shoulders and a slam. Out of the ring and even closer to the chain link enclosure. 
He's got the table, and I can only imagine what he's thinking of doing with it. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. Oh, the ankle locks in. The ankle locks in, and is he going to tap? It's not it. Oh, look at that. And somehow he's able to work his way out of the hold. And just like that, he said, crashing to the floor. And now in the most dangerous area inside the cell. And well-timed maneuver there. Oh, oh man! <laughs> oh, jarring uppercut. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Ooh, man! I don't know what they're looking for here. Okay, this could be too much. A sledgehammer? Really? Bicycle knee to the face. Shot after shot. Oof, ruthless striking. Ooh, stiff punch. Slipped out of the way. Structure affect them too greatly. Share oh, in maybe that will set him up. Hip toss. As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. And he goes into the ring. Closure. 
Sending foot in the ring now. What energy in the arena tonight. He got whipped into that corner. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Oh, man. We grabbed the kendo stick. Everyone needs to watch out now. What's he about to do? Suplex. He's finding himself in trouble here. Yeah, this is a dire situation right now. point during this match. That just made it even more exciting, Saxton, and that is what it's all about.